Okay, check it out. Hey, this is Sue. I am standing in uh, beautiful Miami, Florida. I've got, look at this. The Carnival Conquest is sailing away right now. Uh, you can hear, you can actually hear the music from the deck party. Uh, wish I was on that one. But hey, it's a beautiful day here in Miami, Florida, which is the cruise capital of the world. This is the busiest cruise port in the entire world. There are actually nine cruise terminals here. Um, it's amazing, and there are more coming, too. It's, uh, ironically, it's not that busy uh, as a cargo port. It's the 10th busiest cargo port in the US, but it doesn't even crack the top 100 in the world. But this is where cruising is all about. This city revolves around cruising, as well as some other things, too. I just, that is so fun. I keep looking at that Carnival Conquest. Today in port, there were um, three ships. There was the Conquest, there's the Royal Caribbean Freedom of the Seas, and the Norwegian Sky. Now, it is the middle of August, so cruising is not, uh, it's, not a very, it's not as busy a cruise season right now as it is during the uh, winter, the fall, winter, and spring, because it's hot, and it's hurricane season, and uh, the ships are often in Alaska or the Mediterranean, but what a place, what a day, it's, it's beautiful. So many days are like this here. It's just an awesome place to be. The Port of Miami is home to Carnival, Royal, Norwegian, Virgin. Disney has an occasional ship that comes here. MSC does too. And then occasionally there are others like um, Oceana, Azamara. They'll occasionally come through here. Some days in port you might see two or even three Royal, Carnival, or Norwegian ships as well. Now, the port of Fort Lauderdale is about 25 miles that direction, north and Carnival and Royal go to Fort Lauderdale as well, but Holland America, Princess, and Celebrity do not come to the Port of Miami. They are only out of the Port of uh, Port Everglades, it's called, but it's Fort Lauderdale. So when you book a cruise out of South Florida, make sure you are aware of what port you're booking your cruise out of because they are nearby, but they are not the same. Uh, Royal, Norwegian, and Virgin all have brand new terminals here. In fact, well, you can't really see the new Virgin terminal, so you can see the, the tail of the uh, Conquest leaving there. Virgin has a brand new uh, uh, terminal that just opened, and then Royals opened last year, and Norwegians just opened recently as well. There's a new Carnival one that's coming, and Supposedly, there's a MSC is going to actually build their own terminal here as well. It's very near the airport. Uh, we've got planes going overhead. It's only about 10 miles from the Miami airport to the cruise port, so it's super, super convenient. And uh, again, when you're flying into this area, just make sure you're aware of the difference between Miami and Fort Lauderdale. And check Fort Lauderdale because sometimes the prices are actually cheaper to fly into Port, Fort Lauderdale and it's only a, depending on traffic, a, a 30 to 45 minute drive down here to the cruise port. Um, as far as getting to the cruise port, it's super, super easy. Again, it's only 10 minutes at the most from downtown Miami. And downtown Miami has a variety of hotels. Everything from, here's the Intercontinental right here behind me. Right there, that's the Intercontinental. To, uh, there's the JW Marriott Marquis. There's uh, Holiday Inn. There are some uh, of the less expensive Marriott options. There's a Doubletree. There are just a variety of hotels here in downtown Miami. And then there are lots of hotels between the airport and here too. There are hotels all over the place here. So again, it's super convenient. This, this cruise port is super, super convenient to this area. And it's easy to get a, a taxi. It's easy to get a ride share. Uh, it's easy to get dropped off if you've got family dropping you off or friends. And if you want to ride, if you want to drive here and leave your car at the port, there are, there's plenty of space. 
and it runs between $23 and $28 a night right now, depending on how long you're leaving your vehicle and where you're leaving it. But they're all the, the cruise terminals are all lined up together, and then there are plenty of parking garages there. There's also a cell phone lot where if you've got somebody picking you up, they can wait in the cell phone lot that's right there, and then you can call them as soon as you get off the ship. Um, the the uh, like I said, the ride there is only you know like today right now, no traffic, probably five minutes to get from where I'm standing right here to one of the cruise terminals. So it's super easy to get there. Now, there's lots of stuff to do in downtown Miami. So if you end up staying downtown, first of all, right now, downtown Miami is a bit of a ghost town. It used to be super busy and bustling. And I think like a lot of big urban cities, the, you know, people are working at home. So there are a lot of empty buildings. There are a lot of places that used to be restaurants that are closed up. Um, the traffic is not anywhere near as bad as it used to be and uh, but there's still a lot of things to do so right here I'm staying in Bayfront Park and that Ferris wheel right there is part of Bayside and the Bayside Marketplace and Bayside Marketplace has uh, restaurants shops bars it's also a place that if you want to you can um, catch a boat with a tour of the harbor um, we did one we did one of the stars homes um, on the different islands around the area so that was kind of fun uh, there's there's a speed boat that takes you out there's a pirate boat there are all sorts of things that you can do Biscayne Bay National Park is right down here right that island right there is uh, Key Biscayne and Biscayne there's an amphitheater there with concerts there's a uh, marine park that you can go look at the marine animals and then they also have a uh, they have boat tours as well that you can snorkel uh, in the reefs that are nearby there's this the city revolves around the water so uh, there's also a river walk here and one of the really cool things that Miami has is they've got something called the Metro mover which is a monorail and it is free of charge you jump on it and, and it takes you about a five mile radius of downtown. It goes from almost to uh, Wynwood, if you wanna look that up on a map, it's almost Wynwood, all the way south to Brickell. And it has numerous stops. It's actually really clean. They're cleaning it constantly. Um, there's good security. And it's a great way to get around here if you don't have a car and you're not, you know, you're not spending more than a few days you can get to see a lot of Miami without uh, without paying any money for transportation, and it is all accessible. So if you've got somebody in your party who is mobility impaired, it's easy to use. There are elevators and uh, no steps to have to get up onto the uh, the metro mover. There's also a trolley system that is free, and so you can take the trolley around as well. Um, there are lots of things to do. So there's the Frost Science Center. There are art museums. There's a, uh, a the arena, the FTX arena is right down here. Uh, that's where the Miami Heat play, but they have all sorts of activities and concerts. Uh, the Marlins uh, Major League Baseball team plays about uh, 10 miles or 10 minutes from here. So you can go see a, a baseball game if you want to. There are just lots and lots of things to do. There's lots of food, there's incredible food. One of the things about this city though, it is expensive. The food is really, really pricey. Every once in a while you can find a place that is reasonably priced, but a burger with fries is gonna run you about $20 right now. It is, it is not cheap, but there is a huge, huge, huge variety. Uh, it has a totally Latin American vibe here in Miami, which, you know, it's, uh, it's populated by a lot of people who originated in other parts of the Americas and their descendants. So there's definitely a Latin American vibe. There are really cool neon lights here. So if you are here and you spend a night in Miami, make sure you go outside and look up because the buildings are all are all covered with neon and it's just it's very very it's very cool to see that if you are lucky enough 
you might see some parrots flying around. Uh, there are lots of wild parrots and an occasional chicken. So yeah, you'll be walking along and I mean right in the middle of downtown and there'll be a rooster crossing the road or two. So uh, Miami is a, <laughs> there's no place like it. I haven't been everywhere in the world, but um, I've never been, any, I've been a lot of places. I've never seen any place like Miami, but uh, it is a place to come and visit if you haven't been here. And if you have been here before, come back, spend some time, take a cruise, take another cruise. There's so many options. It's a great place to be. And I am, I'm very happy to be here and the next adventure awaits.